Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial video for Cobblemon and in this video I will be showing you how to make this automatic apricot farm. All you need for this farm to work is a good amount of bone meal, put it into this chest right here, it fills up this hopper which will distribute the bone meal evenly between all of these dispensers. When you turn the farm on it gets very loud. So I'll turn down uh, the blocks setting, make that a bit quieter, and it applies all that bone meal onto the apricorns from these dispensers on the side, and then the top dispensers here have shears inside, which cut the apricorns, go through the hoppers, all the way into any chest or sorting system that you have. And you can turn the farm on and off just with the flick of a simple lever. Here's everything you need. The stone bricks can just be any building blocks and the lever and sticky piston are optional. And of course you're going to want a lot of bone meal to fill up these dispensers. Uh, the way the system works you actually need five stacks plus any extra so it's a good idea to try and integrate this with another bone meal farm such as a moss farm or a kelp farm there's plenty of those on youtube just search up bone meal farm and you should find something helpful and last but not least you'll need at least a few of each apricot seed to get the leaves in this position in survival mode you can do this uh, all of one color if you want but i thought one for each color seems right you might be wondering though wait how did you get all of those to line up to which i would say go watch one of my other two videos probably the second one is the most helpful i messed around with all of these kind of things showing you how to get back to back apricorns these mega trees other different designs and how just how to manipulate growing them to your advantage but i'll show you just for a few right now so here's a, a regular apricorn tree you can see it's got around eight apricorns growing on it if i just break the top here just to show you what this looks like from above you can see there is a log a leaf a leaf and then this is where the apricorns would grow like on this side log leaf leaf apricorn also th they start growing two above where you place the sapling right so the sapling would be here and the lowest level is this level here so if i was to pick a spot let's pick right here and we we want our apricorns in this this block here right so if we want an apricorn here, want a leaf here, a leaf here, and this is where we put a sapling. And because we want them at this height, we want to put the sapling, like I said before, two blocks lower. So if I make a spot right here for the sapling, two blocks lower, and move this out of the way so the apricorn can grow. And I bone meal this until it grows me a nice tree. So this is why you'll need a few seeds because it's not 100% that it will grow in the spot you want. But all I have to do here is simply make a little tunnel. Just break a few of these logs, put a sapling and repeat. And if I go back, it's still not grown. Let me do this a few more times. And I'll do it once more just for luck. Right, and there we go. It's actually almost grown on every single spot around the tree by this point. So four is probably a good number of each sapling if you want to uh, make this farm like I'm doing one for each sapling. Uh, so we see here we've got a red one. I just grew the red. And yeah, so all the rest of this is actually useless to me. Um, so you might be thinking, oh, yeah, so let's just break everything apart from this leaf. No, if you break everything apart from this one leaf, this leaf will die. So what you want to do is make sure you get a log placed underneath there and you'll need this uh, in the final part of the build. I've, I've done it underneath here like this. There's not really anywhere else you can put it, but you know, if you don't want people to see it, then just fill that in with grass. Um, yeah, so make sure you got your log underneath and then you can break all the rest of this, break all the old logs. And then we move up one, right? And it's as simple as that. We can make our little hole here. So just the same as this one, but all one to the side. Put our yellow one in, bow me it till they grow. And again, we'll have to do this a few times. 
Nope. Yeah. Get a log underneath. Break the old tree. Move the whole one to the side. Next one. Bone meal again. And we just repeat. And we can do this for all seven. I will now skip this step and rejoin you in a second. Okay, that's the fiddly part out of the way. Uh, and now let's work on putting the dispensers in place. So like before, there are some dispensers above and some dispensers on the side. One's for the shears and one is for the bone meal. Uh, the easiest way to do this for me is just to make a quick row of temporary blocks like dirt. And you can put all seven dispensers on that side and all seven above. And they should all be with the face pointing towards the middle. Now take your chests and hoppers. Uh, you can do this on either side. And you can just make a double chest here. You can do a, whatever storage system you want. But this is just a quick way to get the apricots out of the system. And hoppers, one hopper into the chest. And then all the rest of the hoppers making a line. So making sure that the hoppers are pointing sideways like this. Into each other. You don't need this last one. Okay, so next we're going to work on the method of getting bone meal into these dispensers. Okay, so you need one hopper going into each one. So you see here they are piping into the dispensers. You can do this by just shift clicking on the dispensers. Uh, then you need one rail on each one of these. Again, just shift click on top of them. Uh, have a stone brick on either side with a powered rail. And you can power these with just a lever and this should switch them on. Uh, on this side, you can just put a wall there and this will make the minecart topper just bounce off and go back. And on this side, you're going to want a detector rail, a powered rail, and you're going to want to probably break one of these rails, uh, just put it on here and break it. So this rail is tilted. On top of the tilted rail, you can place a hopper. And on top of the hopper, you can place a chest. This is where the bone meal will go in. And to finish off this side, uh, you need some blocks here and also one up here. You can place a redstone torch here into redstone dust. A comparator pointing away from this detector rail into uh, this block. And then the redstone torch on top and then a piston pushing on top of here so it should instantly push back uh, what this is doing is it's detecting whether the minecart hopper is full and if the minecart hopper is full it will turn this torch off retract the piston and let the minecart hopper go and fill up all of the hoppers into the dispensers and we can just place the hopper here and push it back and now comes the part where we have to power the dispensers to make them work so we can do that by first placing a piece of redstone on top of each dispenser just hold shift to place all of those and we don't want these to touch so we need a block breaking it all off so you should just see straight line and straight line and now we got these lines we can place the observers. So the top observer we'll place first. Uh, we just need a quick temporary block next to the last dispenser on this side. And then with the red pointing down, uh, we can get out of here, break the block and place it on top. And you can already see the clock starting to go here. So uh, it's already doing pulses on the top and the bottom. We just need to connect this to the rest of the system. So for the top, we can just place one on top like here. And for this side, it's as simple as two blocks here. And now they're both connected. It is not quite working yet. To get it to work like this, all you have to do is take away the bottom one and replace it. And now you see if I break this block, you can see it's firing top side, top side really fast. Uh, so if there were shears in the top right now, you see this one's being rapidly harvested, bone milled, harvested, bone milled, 
and I'll put this hopper back and now they'll start to flow into the chest. You'll get apricots from this as well as seeds. And there we go, get some seeds now. When they look like this, when you hear the poofing and it looks like this, this just means you're out of bone meal. It is tough to get a system for bone meal that keeps up with the demands of this farm. So you might need a few different farms going into this chest of bone meal just to be able to keep up. This farm also works totally passive. The apricons will grow themselves over time. Uh, but if you leave this on, it will passively harvest the apricons as well, as long as you've got shears in the dispensers, and it does use up durability. So I would also recommend you get an iron farm for this, so you can fill all the top dispensers with nine shears each. But that's about it for the build. Um, it's not too pretty. You can definitely cover it up with more bricks. I wouldn't say there's a really nice way to show off this farm. You can't even like see the apricons. It's surrounded on like four sides. Uh, you can put a glass here if you really want. Uh, you, you can't even on the other side. You can just see Hopper. But when you're covering this up, just make sure to not break these blocks um, and make sure to not make a link between the top redstone and the side redstone. Besides that, I think that's a pretty simple, cost-effective, automatic apricot farm. Hope you were able to follow along. I am going to go to bed now because I am incredibly tired. And yeah, have a great day. See you in the next one.